Cambodia to establish Sinecville Multipurpose says. After receiving the designation earlier this year, the Cambodian government is trying to develop Sinecville Province, also known as Prasina Province, into a multipurpose special economic zone, SEZ. Cambodian Prime Minister Hun Sen signed a sub-decree on June 9, 2021, designating Sinecville Province as a multipurpose says. The designation will allow the province of Sinecville to structure development efforts and investment incentives in a broader range of areas. Sinecville province's capital city of the same name is one of Cambodia's most important economic drivers, thanks in large part to the trade, logistics, and tourism sectors. The Sinecville says is already Cambodia's largest says, contributing to the city's emergence as an economic force alongside the capital city, Phnom Penh, and the second largest city, Zeem Reap. Sinecville province's new status as a multipurpose says reflects the Cambodian government's ambitions to further develop the province and capital city into a major player for export-driven manufacturing and trade. With greater investments in infrastructure and incentives, Sinecville stands to become one of the most attractive locations for foreign investment into Cambodia, establishing a multipurpose, says in the Shenzhen model. In October, Cambodia's Ministry of Economy and Finance entered into a consultancy contract with the Urban Planning and Design Institute of Shenzhen, China to lead Sinecville province's transformation into a multipurpose, says. As part of this contract, the Shenzhen-based institute will develop a master plan for the multipurpose SES's development vision and direction within the context of Cambodia's wider political, economic, and social goals. The multipurpose SES carries an explicit goal of turning Sinecville City into a second Shenzhen city, which is why the Cambodian government sought expertise from the Chinese city. Shenzhen is the most successful example of a Chinese says, as its designation helped transform it from a small fishing hamlet to a manufacturing powerhouse to a high-tech innovator. Cambodia's economic planners hope that Sinecville City can likewise develop from a relatively small coastal city into a manufacturing and shipping powerhouse. The establishment of the multipurpose, says falls into Cambodia's wider industrial development policy 2015-2025. The government plans for its establishment to take place in four phases, data collection and site survey, assessment and proposal, preparation of master plan, and completion of the master plan project. According to the Phnom Penh Post, the government expects this process to take around 18 months. Developing industry and infrastructure. Aung Paul Moniroth, Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Economy and Finance said the goal of the multipurpose says is to sustainably promote the province's development potential. In this vein, the multipurpose says will aim to become a major economic zone in Southeast Asia that is empowered by smart technology, as well as an advanced industrial zone serving regional and global production chains, as reported by the Khmer Times. Earlier, in August, the Cambodian government established a working group to determine land management and use policy as part of efforts to transform the province into a multipurpose says. This group will develop a policy that aims to promote relevant economic sectors. Land management and use policy are important for SESES because SESES in Cambodia tend to involve significant physical infrastructure development projects. Currently, Sinecville Province is building 34 new roads and expanding its port and airport, along with the Phnom Penh Sinecville Expressway. Additionally, the multipurpose says may designate additional areas for industrial investments. As of May 2020, about 20 companies above a size threshold had developed projects on 11,647 hectares of land in the province, worth a total of 3.9 billion US dollars. Expanding the Sinecville Port The decision to upgrade Pra Sihanouk into a multi-purpose says comes alongside other efforts to further develop the Sinecville Autonomous Port. The Sinecville Autonomous Port, which is the country's only deep-sea port, is by far Cambodia's largest port, with about 80% of all Cambodian exports passing through it. Through the first eight months of 2021, the Sinecville says had 1.57 billion US dollars in import and export value passing through, a 41% increase from the previous year. 
Expansion plans will see the port build an entirely new container port that will be 350 meters long and have 14.5 meters in depth, which will be able to dock large ships with 5,000 Teo container capacities. Construction for the new port is set to begin in early 2022 and be completed by the end of 2024, according to the Phnom Penh Post. In addition to building physical infrastructure, officials are studying ways to make the port more efficient and business-friendly. Currently, the Cambodian government is analyzing operational activities such as licenses, certificates, permits, and on-site applications for import and export, with an eye to making these processes more streamlined. Stimulating Cambodia's Pandemic Recovery the development of the cynical multipurpose says is poised to play a key role in Cambodia's recovery from the economic effects of the COVID-19 pandemic. While the pandemic hit numerous sectors of the Cambodian economy, the downturn was especially significant in non-SES areas. According to a report by the Ministry of Economy and Finance, the Council for the Development of Cambodia only approved 75 private investment projects outside of SESIS in the first eight months of 2021, a 30% decrease from the same period a year earlier. Further, new investments in non ses projects in the first months of the year were valued at 1.1 billion US dollars and expected to create 57,000 jobs representing year-on-year -year decreases of 52.5% and 32.3%, respectively. The lagging performance of investments in non ses areas reinforces the need for the government to further expand and develop SESs in order to stimulate the economy and share the benefits of growth countrywide. Given the strengths of Cynicville, foreign investors in the multipurpose SES may find strong opportunities in export-driven manufacturing, such as in garments and household products, logistics, and tourism.
Uh-huh.